A little while ago I made a review of an excellent instrument called Pathfinder Cello by Ben Osterhaus. I found out there is actually a violin version as well, so obviously I needed to check that out. Hi there, this is Sam with Second Tier Sound. Really nice to see you here. Now, if you enjoy this content, maybe perhaps subscribing. It's completely free, but it really helps me out. And if you really like the content, you can always hit that like button. And if you want to help me out even further, creating more content and continuing these courses I'm working on, then consider becoming a patron. All the links are below. Now, let's get on with the review. Ben Osterhaus is a very talented cellist that also creates some very interesting and quite unique virtual instruments. Often solving technicalities that are difficult to do with normal string libraries. He has created quite a few of these libraries, so I really recommend you check them out. I will leave a link below. I've also made quite a few reviews of them. And as I said before, I made the Cello Pathfinder review before. So if you want to go a little bit deeper into the interface to really learn how it works, I recommend that video. Now let's get on with the Pathfinder Violin. Welcome to the Pathfinder Violin interface. If you're familiar with the Pathfinder cello interface, you will realize it's pretty much exactly the same, except for the color and the instrument and the presets. You can obviously click here to go around and mess with things a little bit. Here you find all the different presets, and then you can have up to five different tabs having five loaded sounds at one time. So let's listen a little bit to some of the sounds here. And let's go into some of my favorites, a little bit more intricate sounds here. I'm going to open up the menu here so you can see the textures here. I really like those. So let's try this fast pyramid. Really a lot of fun here trying these out. Let's try the lattice one. Let's try some of the sustains full. And spars. Great for nice pictures in the background. And the folds. Let's try swinging as well. Just pick up a pattern and see what comes out of it. Let's try this one as well. Let's go with slow oscillating patterns. Let's try contrary motion. And then we also have what I really like, fast oscillating patterns, which is pretty much the same as the slow one, just twice as fast in most cases. That one would be really difficult to program in most string libraries, for example. Let's try six act.
Let's try staggered. So that's just a few of the patterns, but I hope you get some insight into what this library can do. I gotta say, this instrument is very inspiring and very easy to use, and I quickly created a piece with it, sort of Chikoria, Gary Burton-esque sounding with some violins and a cello. If you're interested in the MIDI files, then just head over to my Patreon page. So you probably figured out that I really like this Pathfinder violin at least as much as I like the Pathfinder cello. I mean, they are pretty much identical except the color and the instrument and the presets. Now, it could be that I haven't updated my Pathfinder cello, but the violin is now a contact library. And also it has way more presets, very creative and also way more agile and fast presets, which I really like. That could be because it fits the violin a little bit better, or maybe Ben has just gotten more experience and having more fun creating these patterns. This is a great recommend, very inspiring, and hopefully, as you heard in the piece, this was very, very easy and fun to create. Now, if I have any nitpicks, but I also want to give you as full picture as I possibly can, I find that there's a little bit of lack of vibrato in this one, and I think that's more important in the violin than in the cello. It would be great in the slower, longer sustains if there could be a possibility to have vibrato as well. Now, I don't know if that has something to do with the time stretch engine or it's just too difficult to implement. I do hear in the faster passages though that there are some vibratos there and I really like that because it, it adds some texture and variety. Another nitpick I have, I wish that he would have played the fast passages as well. I do want to say that the time stretch engine in content is brilliant and it kind of works, especially in a band and orchestra, you won't notice it. I'm a picky bastard and I just want to let you know what I notice. I don't really hear artifacts or anything like that. Now again, I could be wrong about this, but it is really nitpicking because otherwise very inspiring instrument that I really enjoy. And, and again, I really recommend you to check out anything that Ben does is well worth your time and your money that often solve things that take a long time to program in a normal string library. Anyway, that's it for this review. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please let me know by hitting that like button 
subscribe completely free for you but you will get notifications of the next video i produce and also you can write a comment see what you think about this library and other libraries that ben does maybe you could also become a patron to really help me out further so i can create these videos a little bit more quicker until next time i hope you have a good time and you create lots of music see you then